Hello everyone. I welcome you all to Geeky Script. First of all, a very happy new year to all of you. Today in this video, I am going to show you how to install Visual Studio Code. And after that, I am going to show you a demo program that how to use Visual Studio Code. So you know, do watch the video till the end. If you face any issues in middle, you can put a comment in our comment sections. I'll try my best to help you. So without any delay, let's start our video. Now for Visual Studio, you need to first simply go to your favorite browser and you need to just simply type over Visual Studio Code Download and hit enter. And this will show you this download Visual Studio Code. So just simply open that Visual Studio Code and you're going to redirect to the official site of Visual Studio Code. So this link I'm going to put right in our description. So you can directly use that link to land over to this site. And here you can see that our Visual Studio Code is available for Windows, Mac OS and Linux. So I am going to use it for Windows. So I'm going to click on this Windows and it's going to start you know, telling that uh, thank you for downloading VS Code. And you can see it is rightly started downloading our Visual Studio Code. So let's wait for some time to uh, get it uh, finishing uh, downloading our Visual Studio Code. And you can see that our Visual Studio Code is rightly downloaded over here. So just you need to click on that exe to install it locally on your system. And here you need to just you know simply click on install anyway, and you can minimize your uh, uh, your browser. And you can see that our you know setup for Visual Studio Code is rightly opened over here. So this is our license agreement. You can always read this, and you can accept this license agreement and click on next. So this is where our Visual Studio Code is going to be installed, which is totally fine. Just simply click on next. So they're going to create Visual Studio Code folder, which is again fine. So just simply click on next. And here you need to select this create a desktop shortcut icon. Along with that, it is you know, highly recommend to select these two options as well. That is open with code and uh, for Windows Explorer context menu and open with code for Windows Explorer directory context menu. So you basically need to select all the options and then you know simply click on next. So it's ready to be installed. Click on install and there you go. You can see it's preparing to install. So our installation is going to be started soon. So you know, let's wait for some time, you know, about a couple of minutes. So once we are done installing our Visual Studio code, I am going to again come back to this video. And you can see that our Microsoft Visual Studio Code is actually installed. Also, this launch Visual Studio option is also enabled. So just you know, simply click on finish over here and it's going to start launching our Visual Studio Code. So you can see that our Visual Studio Code is rightly launched over here along with our release node. You can close the release node and our welcome note as well. So this is the interface of our Visual Studio Code. So here I'm going to quickly show you about the extensions. So if you you know click on these extensions, it's going to open this you know tab over here, and here you can see that all extensions are you know sh currently showing over here, right? So these are all all the very popular extensions. So if you are into Python, you need to install Python from this you know extension, right? If you want to code in C or C plus plus, you can use that from here. All right live server is another a very important extension like that will you know, automatically going to refresh your html code in our browser itself so it's a very good utility extension right and you can see so many other extensions as well right so in my previous videos i have shown you about this java extension so extension pack for java so once you install that you're going to install all these test runner maven for java and project manage, manager for java all that so this is a very useful you know extension if you are into java programming right so in my channel you will get a series of videos on how to use python for visual studio code then java for visual studio code or javascript for visual studio code or even php for visual studio code or even c sharp dot net everything you will get a series of videos on each programming language with Visual Studio Code. I have made that already. So you need to watch those playlists. I'll be again putting that link in the description. So whichever language you want, you know, Visual Studio is going to support that. 
and i have a video tutorial series on that as well so you can just simply follow that playlist and you can you know always put your comment in your comment sections if you have any doubts or anything so you know do watch those videos as well so in this video i'll quickly show you about html so i'll close this i'll go to explorer i'll just simply open a folder and here i'm going to create a new folder and i'm going to give the folder name as html underscore practice all right i'm going to select that folder and you will be able to see that a folder is rightly selected and it's opened over here right so here let's create a new file let's give the file name as first of all you need to select this i trust the authors and then you need to click on this plus icon to create a new file i'm going to name that file as index.html and click on outside so you can see our file is created and it is also opened over here now if you just simply type html you can see that html colon 5 template is showing if you click on that it will give you a boilerplate for html so here you can give a body tag so let's give the body you know h1 tag with tab and uh, let's give something like hello inside that and save this and if you just simply go to these extensions and just simply type over here live server you will get uh, this live server by Rithik Day so you need to install this so after you know installing this you'll be able to see that it is you know properly installed so now if you go back to your html index.html and you'll be able to see this go live option now just came so when you click on that it's going to start our server and it's going to launch our you know code html code whatever we have written on our server on our browser so you can see that it is currently showing up here right so in this way you can easily install visual studio code and i have also talked about this beautiful live server in this video so if this video is helping you please do like share and subscribe that will really help me to make more such videos and as i have told you please do you know subscribe our geeky syntax and our geeky script blogging channel if you're interested so in geeky syntax i'm going to regularly post videos on programming and coding so do subscribe our geeky syntax channel as well so that's basically all about this video thank you very much for watching this video and god bless you all